I'm here today at Floatworks Angel. There's about three weeks left until we open and it's a very exciting time. You'll see that we've just painted the outside an indigo colour, which is different to our current brand. And that's because we're rebranding when we open. So what do we mean when we talk about brands? We're referring to all of the different touch points that people can feel, see, touch when they interact with Floatworks. So that's from our visual identity, that's our logo, our font, our colour palette, our photography style, the video content that we use, the written content that we put out, our online platforms, our website, our social media channels and our app, and even the interior design of our flight centres. And all of these should have a consistent and hopefully exciting look and feel. When we relaunched Floatworks in 2016, we created a new brand that has served us very, very well for the past three years. But we felt that now is the time to freshen up that approach and to build on all of the lessons learned from the past three years. So we've been talking to our community and our partners and we've got a lot of input and fed that into the branding process, hopefully to create a new and exciting brand that can really communicate the amazing benefits of floating to as many people as possible. We worked with an amazing brand designer called Josh Milgate. Josh is currently a Vauxhall. Josh, tell us how you did it. So the first part in the process was to really spend a bit of time at Floatworks, getting to know the core team, and also to spend a good amount of time interviewing the customers so I could get a feel for, you know, why do people float? What do they think of Floatworks? And how can we improve uh, the current state of uh, the business? So the second step in the process was to take this information and kind of distill it into a brand strategy. So this involved defining a purpose, like why do we exist? Uh, then a vision, so what do we expect the future to look like for Floatworks? And also a, a tone of voice and communication strategy so we know who we're talking to and how to speak to them. So the third part in the process then is for me to go away and to spend a lot of time developing and creating an identity system. We grab these intangible aspects of the experience and visualize it so that we can tell a story with it. So we spent hundreds of hours trying to uh, define a logo that would encapsulate the entire floating experience. So in the end, we finally settled on a really beautiful logo mark that I'm really happy with. Um, for me and for everyone else in the team, it really captures the essence of Floatworks. It gives you a sense of what to expect and also what can, how you can benefit from floating. I got a real sense of how much floating can actually have a positive impact on people's lives. We're about to rebrand Floatworks and today we're launching a sneak preview. Click the link, have a look and please let us know what you think. We'd love to know your feedback.